The Poussière of Ohio, wearing his beautiful chapeau but who's his cavaliero. The Emperor of the Far West, when he begins his revolver, he can shoot a fly d'un seul geste. In the desert, there is person, never a coup de téléphone. He's a cowboy, poor and lonesome. Il n'a pas peur de personne. Pas surtout des Dalton. Il n'a pas peur de personne. Gonna love it, but be careful, cause it's hot. The coast is clear, Avril. Come on out. What he say? Uh, he said no, Joe. No? What do you mean no? Come on out of there this instant, you knucklehead! I voted to escape after dinner. You lost that vote three to one. Now come on out before I bash you with the ball and chain. Escaping on an empty stomach is unhealthy. Where are we going anyhow? To the Mexican border. Once we get across, Lucky Luke can't arrest us. Good plan, Joe. It'll work for sure. As long as we don't pass out from hunger. Ah, Avril, I'm all brains and you're all stomach. Go gambling, Tin Tom. You disturbed my dinner to tell me the Daltons have escaped? Telegraph Lucky Luke. He'll find them in a jiffy. He always does. Ah, the warden's right. No use getting in a stew over this. And speaking of stew, it's time we had our dinner. When are we gonna eat, Joe? When are we gonna drink, Joe? When are we gonna rest, Joe? When I say so, sooner or later, we're bound to find some place we can rob. I sure hope it's a grocery store. Looky there, Mabel. That cowboy's got a hot date. Telegram for Lucky Luke. Now I can play for an orthodontist. Don't blow yet, Jolly. The Daltons have escaped again. What shall I do with the gate, Mr. Luke? Put it away, and I'll do the same with the Daltons. <sighs> Stand back, Avril. Your tummy is rumbling too loud. There's a wagon coming. It's still around two miles from here. Let's hide and jump it. Hmm? There's our victims, boys. But, Joe, we don't have any guns. Who cares? We're the Daltons, ain't we? Wonderful, Seto. I'm down nice and slow, driver, or I'll shoot. Wow! A wagon full of him! You're trying to rob me with a fake gun? Sorry, senor, but I happen to know something about pigs. You see the hams in this wagon? Ah! Oh, oh. I made a plaster. I sell them to butchers for decoration. I have an idea. That ain't the horse. I'm pretty sure he ain't made a plaster. Giddy up, Avril. What'd you say, Joe? I said giddy up. We had some transportation till you went and scared it away. So now you're gonna be my horse. Clippity clap, clippity clap. I'm 
hungry. Yes, four guys in stripes. The tall one tried to eat my plaster ham. Those were the Daltons. You were very lucky to get away, amigo. Goofy gringos don't scare me. Listen up. Here's what we're gonna do. Jump a passerby, steal his gun, rob a bank, then have ourselves one fine dinner. <laughs> How about we start with the fine dinner? Shut up, Avril. You're a horse, remember? <laughs> I said shut up! Someone's coming. Get out of sight. I can tell this will be a long night. I'm gonna find a place to lie down. That's funny. It smells like manure around here. Uh oh. Quit ah! ah! chasing me! I'm a horse! Nah, he's too dumb to be a horse. Ah! Ah! Oh, Holy! Don't just stand there and do something! <laughs> ah! Ole! Get me off the head! You heard him, fellas. Whip out your hankies. Toro! Toro! Crimes to commit. Let's go. Ooh. <clears throat> I think I ate too much. When I get my hands on those guys, I'm gonna grind them into cattle feed. What's going on here, friend? That's Gilbert Glutton, the rancher. A gang of outlaws just ate his prized longhorn bull, El Facundo. He was mighty partial to that critter. I seen who done it. Four men, Mr. Glutton. They was wearing striped shirts. They stole some horses and guns and broke into the drugstore. The drugstore? Yeah, they took every single package of seltzer. Well, what do you know? The Daltons have tummy trouble. They got worse than that. A price on their heads. 400,000, dead or alive. <laughs> He don't sound so good. He don't smell so good, neither. Want to try some seltzer, Joe? It's surprisingly tasty. Why, they eat all that beef? Ow! Oh, ow! Oh. <laughs> Let's rob us a stagecoach. That'll perk me right up. You're offering too big a reward, Glutton. I'm telling you, it'll cause me problems by attracting every bounty hunter in this country. I'm not changing my mind. By nightfall, there'll be wanted posters covering all the walls in this town. The men who ate El Facundo will be ground at the cattle feed. Yikes. Who'd want to eat a cow that had been fed on dogs? Personally, I wouldn't want to eat a cow at all. Carnivores are so uncouth. And that makes a thousand. I'll go tell Mr. Glutton. No need. I'll take those. You work for Gilbert Glutton? Exclusively. <laughs> I recognize him, boss. This rattlesnake, the ruthless bounty hunter. He once turned in his own mother for five bucks. Four hundred thousand bucks, Digger. If we get it, I promise I'll let you retire to a beachfront stud farm in California. And the short one didn't look too good. They rode off without stealing a thing. Wrong. The tall one <laughs> stole my fried chicken. So Joe's feeling sick. That should make our work easier, Jolly. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is looking bad. And it's smelling even worse. <laughs> you know what I really like? Cold stolen fried chicken. <laughs> He's got to see a doctor. Put him in a saddle and let's go. You sound like Joe, except you didn't tell me to shut up. Shut up! 
say, friend, is there a doctor in this town? Take a wild guess. Ah! Acute indigestion. He'll need some medicine. I was thinking cod liver oil, distilled coal tar, and a pinch of arsenic. And give him some seltzer. <coughs> it's real tasty. Prison food will cure what ails him. <gasps> It's Lucky Luke! Somebody hand me a gun! I will... This is so sad. Sad and stinky? Coming here was your smart idea, William. Shut up, Jack. Uh-oh. Will I be burying the sick one, Doc? Afraid not. Without my medicine, he'll pull through. <laughs> Yes, that can only be rattlesnake. I'll be right with you. Four horsemen went by, one with an upset stomach, followed by a lone rider moving fast. Let's get him. He really ought to eat something. It's the best thing for indigestion. When we was little, Mom used to make me chicken soup when I was sick. Can I make chicken soup, William? Yeah, right. Whatever, Alvaro. Go ahead. Really? I can? Sure, the boss says so. Shut up, Jack. I'll get it. You're not my boss, you loud mouth. Don't be a scam, you big brainless bonehead. We found him. And so has Rattlesnake. He's like a saddle sore, hard to get rid of. Don't worry, the fuse ain't lit. I couldn't find no chicken, so I thought I'd boil up a nice fat skunk. For you, Joe. <gasps> oh. <gasps> mm -hmm. Someone shooting, but not at us. On your feet, Rattlesnake. Lucky Luke. Nice to see you. So, we're both after the Daltons. That makes things easier. We'll team up and split the reward. Right, when pigs fly. Get moving. Forget it, Igor. Those two are thickeningly healthy. Sheriff, I want you to lock up this reptile. Hang on. I did nothing wrong. I was trying to catch four wanted men. Is that a crime? Don't think so. But this fellow opened fire on me, allowing the crooks to escape. It's him you ought to lock up. Could be. Sheriff, this legal warrant tells me to bring the Daltons back to prison. And my wallet tells me to bring them to Gilbert Glutton for a $400,000 reward. Well, in that case, I wish you both luck. Thanks, Sheriff. Hand over my gun. I'm sorry, friend, but that's what you call free enterprise. There's Mexico. Should we cross over? You decide. You're the boss. It was smart of us to steal this hearse, huh, Joe? Too bad there ain't no coffin you can lie in. Oh, shut up, Avril. Joe, we're at the Rio Grande. Um, Can we cross? Uh, 
What do you say? I said, um, blur. I can't stop him from tracking him, but I can stop him from shooting him. We're protecting the Daltons? Now I've seen everything. What the heck is he up to? Here's the offer. He pretends to capture us, then he sets us free after collecting the reward and splitting it with us. Why would he do that? Because then he could capture us over and over and keep collecting the reward. Whoa! Sounds pretty fishy to me. What do you think, Joe? I don't get it. Would you explain the plan again, William? Yeah. Well, come on, boys. I don't have all day. Okay, Snake. Me and my brothers have decided to accept your offer. Excuse me? Smart, very smart. Let's get moving, shall we? This place ain't safe. Looks like he's bamboozled them. Doctor, a hearse. Sorry, Igor, but the contents are alive. Hey, tell me, what's the matter with him? It's a cute indigestion, and I ate all the seltzer. After I collect the reward, we'll celebrate with a roast beef dinner. <gasps> I know what you're gonna say, Jolly, but until he breaks the law, I can't interfere. I wasn't going to say anything. I'm a horse, remember? All right, fellas, hand over your guns. Hmm? Before I set you free, I've gotta hand you over, or Glutton won't pay the reward. Makes sense to me. I can't wait for that roast beef dinner. Did you see all the cows out there? Thank you. Nice work, Rattlesnake. Usually I bring him in dead, not alive. But this time, I reckon you'll finish the job. Here's your cash, boss. <laughs> what are you gonna do with them? I'll grind them into cattle feed. Ooh, that's unsanitary. Mm, I guess you're right. Okay, then I'll try him, convict him, and hang him. <laughs> he really cracks me up. Oh, uh, shut up, Avril. Court is in session. <laughs> we will now hear from the defense. Boss, these outlaws eat your prize longhorn bull, El Facundo. As defense lawyer, I urge you to show no mercy. Now let's hear from the prosecution. Make it quick. They're guilty. I know that. Prisoners, you have just been convicted of gobbling my longhorn. As punishment for this terrible crime, <laughs> I sent this all for you to be strung up. <laughs> okay, Rattlesnake, set us free and let's have that roast beef. You numbskull, I lied to you. I'm keeping the reward and no one's gonna set you free. Don't be too sure uh, about that. In case you didn't know, lynching's against the law. I'm taking the Daltons back to prison. I paid for a hanging and I'm gonna get one! Uh... All right, pick up your sick brother. You're all going back to jail. Stop him, boys! Sorry, but we only lynch on our men. Shootouts ain't in our job description. I'll pay a reward for Luke. 400000 It's a deal. Pay Luke. Don't even think about it, Rattlesnake. I'm not letting the Daltons get away again. If they do, that's another reward. <laughs> I don't understand. Neither do I, but something tells me it won't work out well for us. Okay, I shoot Lucky Luke first. Glutton pays me the reward and the Daltons escape. I catch the Daltons, give them to Glutton, and get another 400,000. Then I catch Glutton, give them to the Daltons. No, that's not it. 
Hey, Snake, when you figure out who's who and what's what, send me a postcard, huh? Let's go, William. Stop! Forget it, Glutton. If you shoot Luke, I lose 400,000. If he shoots you, I lose twice that. What's going on? I'm even more confused than <laughs> usual. Shut up, Averill! Find a bounty hunter, Glutton. I work for the law. As I predicted, you found them in a jiffy. You'll stay for dinner, won't you? To celebrate, I'm having the cook whip up an extra special treat, a roast beef. <laughs> Sorry, Warden. There's a cake waiting with his name on it. Can I go on right now? Shut up, Avril! Dinner time! I'm a bold, lonesome cowboy. 